For unit 72, we have to create our own game and I created a game called Tally 66. In this presentation, I'm going to include these contents. So I'm going to include the task introduction, game narrative, and game terrain, and so on. Um, so yeah, I'll be explaining the game narrative, terrain, architecture, and other elements included in the game. Right, the game narrative is, the game is based in 1066, which is formerly known as the Viking era. For a long for a long period of time, citizens, especially children and infants, have started disappearing, which was a mystery until someone spotted a, le a legendary monster. It was a large, hideous, man-like being that eats ordinary human beings. It was an ogre. Vikings have recently started invading Britain, and now a hideous monster has started jeopardising their victory. What do these monsters want? Us Vikings, <laughs> oh, no. Us Vikings are going to stand by and watch these extremely unpleasant beast room what we have achieved. It's a player's responsibility to guide the Vikings in the right direction, killing these horrendous ogres. <laughs> the terrain in 1066 varies quite a bit because the player is able to travel to different islands using their ship. For instance, one island might have a lot of vegetarian, whilst other islands might have zero vegetarian, just mountains. There isn't many buildings in 1066, although when the player visits a village, they will be able to see different architecture such as huts, houses, markets and churches. There are different types of armour, and this is where things start to get a bit more complicated. There is three different classes of armour, bronze, silver and gold. Each class of armour includes a helmet, shield and a chest plate. Each one has its own, own, own strength. Bronze is the weakest. Right, the player begins the game with a simple axe which does a total of 18 damage when attacking the ogres. After the player reaches level 5, a whole new bunch of weapons are unlocked, such as pickaxes, bow and arrows, hammers and swords. The player plays a viking and he starts off as a weak viking at level 0. They begin with basic health and a basic weapon such as an axe which doesn't do much damage. But the player can finish level 5 and unlock different types of weapons to increase their damage. The player can also persuade other Vikings into helping by earning a good reputation. To earn a good reputation, the player must progress and complete side quests given to him by other Vikings. Right, the player will be fighting ogres, and the ogres are probably three times bigger than an Olympic wrestler would even be. They're defined mus muscles bulging underneath their green fit scarred skin. Their skin is more like armour than anything you see in a human. When the player first begins the game, the ogres are moderately small and easy to compete. Although at level 3, the ogres start growing more advanced and eventually huge boss ogres are introduced. Non playable characters will be like characters in the villages, like shopkeepers and just people walking around earlier. Then, to show the player feedback, like if the player hit the screen with flash red or the player hits the player, the player hits an ogre, the ogre will flash red and the damage will appear above the ogre's head. Um, 1066 perspective is similar to a top down shooter perspective, although the viewpoint of 1066 is going to be more of an axometric perspective, which means the viewpoint is slightly rotated to more of the game environment view. The interface of the game is really simple. In the bottom left corner, there is an option to pause the screen, a map, and the description of armour and weapons the player currently has. Um, I will be using uh, full motion videos in the game, but only when the game is introduced like new characters. Um, there's going to be new versions of the game. I will create a new interface and introduce new weapons and different challenges just to keep the player interested. Here you can see a graph which shows how I spent my time on the, on the game. So you can see I spent the most time creating illustrations for the game and the least time creating the game document. Well that really deserved a round of applause. Well done, that was welcome. So anybody want to volunteer a good point? She went to a lot of detail. She did. And did it work? Yeah. It did, well done. That, th those illustrations were great. Uh, anything to improve, folks? The only thing, you know when you showed your hero, yeah. his skin colour was the same as the background, yeah, so if he changed the background, he, he would have jumped out. Yeah. 
But but the illustrations were fantastic. Well done, Rihanna. Really well done. But do you know what I, I really liked is she, she went into a lot of detail about the characters and the gameplay. Um, and that was a really good presentation. Well Thank done. You. Well done.